Hi everyone. Uh, myself Viral. Uh, I am from Ahmedabad and I am re rep representing here for CRP. Uh, so I would like to skip my introduction because of time limit. Uh, uh, so initially, when I was started my career, I started contribute contribution in ERP Next, and that's helped me a lot to uh, increase my uh, skills, technical skills, and the knowledge about the. Uh, Frappe and other domain. So I would like to suggest the uh, engineers who are started career in the uh, Frappe. So start uh, doing a contribution. It's not about to not about only the contribution. It's very help us to in increase our technical skills. So uh, yeah. So I would like to uh, uh, highlight one feature here. So first I would like to uh, tell you about the use case. So one of our Sweden client, uh, they have a very big company and uh, uh, they they are weekly, they are one day processing the payment to the vendors. And one day, they uh, in a single day they, day, they have to process the payment of 100 customers, sometimes 50 customers, sorry, uh, 50 vendors. So it's uh, very hard to share credentials of bank portals and to the employees and uh, uh, to transfer the payments and it's also very hard uh, it's uh, easy that uh, employee can make a mistake and uh, uh, they can make a loss so uh, uh, we have uh, developed something to uh, process this payment uh, very sh uh, in a very short time and very easy and it will uh, reduce reduce the human errors uh, it, it will reduce the risk so uh, it's uh, yeah. So um, with this uh, with these features, you can in a single click you can uh, process the hundred payments, unlimited payments uh, in a one one using the one XML file. Uh, also, uh, if the company uh, has a risk of due dates, I mean if they cross the due date, then they have to pay the penalty. So in our case, that that was the main. Uh, problem that if they cross the due date, then they have to pay the pen penalty. So this is the screen that uh, there was in a version 14, like recently we updated in the version 15. So this is the screen of payment export. Uh, here you can just select the payment entries and below the create button, you just have to clear, uh, click on that and the XML file will be generated that you can upload to the uh, bank portal and it, all the payment will be uh, processed in a, a few minutes. So what is the XML file? So you can see that pain 001, 00103. This is a standardized, uh, if you, you, you will search in a Google, you will get the format of XML. It's a standardized format of, format of uh, uh, payment transfer. Any bank to uh, any other, any bank to any other bank, you can transfer the payment with payment uh, using this XML format. Uh, here is the link, uh, the www.swift.com. Uh, there you can get the many other formats also to, which is related to banking, uh, financial transfer, and uh, uh, ISO 20022. Uh, if you will search that, then also you can get the uh, format of XML file. There are different type of XML file for the domestic payment transfer, for the euro uh, transfer, like if you heard about the SIPA euro. So that is also the uh, we have included here. So this is the main uh, structure of the XML file. So it looked like uh, similar to HTML uh, tags, uh, the group header, then the group header contains the company details of our uh, company and the payment below the payment information. It uh, contains uh, credit hours, uh, our customers, bank details, and other details. So you can see this uh, small screenshot of uh, uh, XML file. Mm, uh, yeah, it looked like HTML. And, uh, yeah. So in India also, there are some banks which are providing uh, uh, this similar feature. Uh, you can, uh, and recently we have started for ICICI Bank. So uh, for, with the SIPA file, you can generate and other XML file you can generate, just upload to the uh, bank and you can process the payment. I'll give you the demo. So this is the screen you can see. So first of all, we need to generate a payment uh, entries. 
So for that to generate a bulk payment entry, we have, we have created one more tool, payment run. So here all the purchase invoice, it depends on the client requirement and workflow we have uh, developed. So uh, you can, uh, I'll give you the repository link, you can just copy the code. So it is generating a payment entry and uh, we need to go to the payment export screen. So there are multiple types like domestic, for the domestic, SIPA, cross-border USD, uh, for the, to transfer a payment in USD, uh, cross-border Euro, and cross-border other, this cross-border other payments will help you to transfer a payment in uh, the, uh, any currency to any currency, like INR to Euro, INR to USD, any currency. Uh, so I'll give you the demo of domestic payment. Just we have to select and create. It will generate the payment link. It's not supported the Safari. I'll show you in the browser Chrome. So you can see this uh, XML file. So uh, we can avoid that bank integration, API management, and this is a simple structure we have to, we can manage and process the payment. Uh, uh, you can see here, uh, this is the group header. There are the customer details and uh, other, cust uh, our company details is here. The bank account number and uh, here you can see the IBAN numbers. So, and other payment entry details, the supplier name, novel trading, address, and uh, some basic details, its contents. So we just need to manage this uh, structure. If once we successfully de develop this structure, then we don't need to integrate with the, any bank. We don't need to depend on uh, any API management or integrations. We just have to gen uh, uh, generate the uh, XML file and we need to upload to the, upload to the bank portal. And when we create a XML file, uh, that time it's generating a payment export log. So you can get here a details about uh, how many payments, payments has been processed in uh, uh, one click, uh, I mean one XML file and the uh, other details of XML also here you can see. So again, let's get back to the slide. So this is our the repository which is open source, you can uh, you can't install the directly on your uh, site because we have developed based on our specific customer requirement because every customer, every client is working on different workflows. So you can just copy the uh, code of XML structures and you can implement. We are open to discuss with you guys if you need any help. So uh, yeah, uh, this I would like to thank to the Rohit, the Revant and Deepas, Deepes. Uh, so just put your hands and please clap for that. So they are very, uh, very open to help us anytime. Recently, Revant has, on a Sunday also, I was calling him and uh, he is uh, available on the Google Meet and he helped me a lot on the on a Dockerized, Dockerized setup and also, and Rohit also, the best. They are very helpful to us. So uh, thank you, thank you guys. And thank you, thank you.